Hello everyone and welcome again to another tutorial and tutorial number six from the dynamic modeling of cities class and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Typeflow to generate 3D terrains. So we'll be using Typeflow and 3ds Max for this tutorial today. These are the steps that we will take to generate our terrain from um, Typeflow. So the first thing you want to do is open up your um, 3ds Max and go to standard primitives, type flow, and select the type flow icon and place it in your model. Then go to modify and open up the editor. Um, yeah. So to birth terrain, you need to find. Yeah, so the yellowish icons are the icons that relate to terrains and all the properties for that. So we want to find birth terrain and place it into our model. And you can see straight away in your 3ds Max world that there's a flat plane at the moment. To give it a terrain texture, what you want to do is go ahead and find terrain noise and drag it up. And what you'll see is a noise map here of of what your terrain looks like. And you can go through different samples that they have. Next up, what you wanna do is we want to con control the terrain um, form. And you can do that by going to terrain slope, um, right here, just place it in there. And what this will do, it will allow you to control the heights of your terrain, control these settings. Um, yeah, so change to linear X, and then you can control your terrain as you want it. I'll keep it like this for now. Something cool about Tie Flow or the terrain generator generator in Tie Flow is you can also give it an effects so you can give it a different type of terrains so if you grab the terrain effects and what you'll see here you have different modes just be careful because this may slow down your CPU but you can do different things where like for example this one is a deserted terrain or you can have ridges and if, just give it a second to load up and yeah, you can play around with the different um, strengths as well. Just do be careful because it will slow and potentially crash your machine. But another thing that you can do is you can also color your terrain depending on where your terrain is. So if you find the terrain color in here and add it in, and go to presets. So there's already presets for you. For example, dusty slates. And just give it a second to load up because this takes a bit. But here you go. Um, you can see how it textures up your terrain. We can try a different preset. Let's try that one. And then one more. Let's try the red rock one, for example. Here you go. And this is very, um, very cool in a way. You can easily um, adjust your terrain height. Just be careful because of a lot of calculations within your CPU. This may take a while. I just want to quickly change the FX and create a desert. And change the color to find something that suits it. So desert sands. And here you go. And once you're happy with your terrain, you can 
you can export the um, terrain mesh and to do that you need to go back to the terrain options and find terrain mesh and add it in once you do that you can click the extract mesh and here you go you have your mesh in 3ds max so that's it for today i hope you um, find this tutorial quite useful and i'll see you in the next video